Okay, bit further that way. Wait, maybe maybe legs a bit Wait, closer. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, go. Okay. Okay, that's one. Okay, two. That's two. Okay, count to 60, the count to 60. No, one away. Four. Prove them wrong, Rasmus, prove them wrong! Five. <laughs> <laughs> that's six. No, 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 focus. Focus yourself on the push. Come on, do 16. Eight. Go, do 16, you can do it. Just stop on 16. <laughs> like this thing. Okay. No, it's fine. It's Next, fine. It's, it doesn't matter. Just fucking yeah. go. No, it's, it should be easy. What was that, 10? 11. 12. 12. Hey. <laughs> Back straight. 16, come on, no, you can do it. 12, 13. Third. Oh, okay, it's fine. It's like. It's, Ooh, fine. it's, going, it's going hard. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, two more, two more, two more. <laughs> Wait, you can't oh. just like go. Is two more. Wait, yeah, it's yeah, but it's fine. It's fine. It's like it's like for the last ah! it's pushing the last reps. It's pushing the last reps. It's actually just pushing. That's it. not <laughs> different. Well, he did it, kind of. He did kind of succeed. Yeah, he had with like. But losing to Origin was like in a way shocking, but kind of like shocking because when you like win so much and then you lose, then you finally realize you get challenged, you know, and like your inner instincts of like how you like call survival instincts of or like being the best instinct instantly like works harder and feels the challenge and then you are like okay I have to work harder to be the best so I think it kind of humbles us down a little bit like we are still ourselves and we are still gonna beat everyone and we're gonna be ourselves but it made us like take practice more more efficient I would say I think we've we've got a lot higher quality games in our practice this week than we did before I've been really lucky in my career to be on teams where we get along pretty well and where we don't really take losses as bad as maybe other teams. Of course, I've been in a situation maybe like last year G2 where we had a really, really tough two weeks of scrims where we almost didn't win a game and then we got 3 0 by Misfits. So of course, like it sucks, but it's not like we were like imploding or anything. Things weren't just working out for us. In general, it's kind of common knowledge that once players start losing, there is like tilt issues, trust issues, confidence issues. There's like a lot of stuff that can come from a loss. It's like kind of like it, it, it's a heavy emotion, like losing or winning. There, there is like there is big difference, and uh, it can affect you as a unit, as a unit, like as a whole team, or it can affect you as an as an individual. It really depends on, I guess, what kind of personalities you have on your team. If one loss will, is all it takes to kind of go, go down the rabbit hole and they just keep racking up losses. But uh, I believe if you are a team like that, then you're probably not going to succeed anyways. And I believe that all our players uh, either can be or has been successful before. And we all have uh, a drive to continue winning and continue improving. So one loss is not going to change any of that. I was pretty scared when I first heard. I'd been back home working remotely for the week, so I just thought, oh, he's, he's got a bit of a cough, it's fine. Wake up 3 a.m., get on a plane, come back, and like as soon as I land, I pretty much see in Skype, uh, I'm at the doctor's and we'll see if you have to go on stage today. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> like, oh dear. He's been with G2. In 2016, he was one split off in TSM, but he's like basically 2016, 2017, we were winning everything, and we were like at every international event. He was always with us, watching screams, watching that. So he has like so much 
info in his brain and he's been to so many metas. I'm pretty sure he just knows what champs are good together, you know, or like what, uh, what fits together well. And then we give him our info and he's like, oh yeah, that's right, you know, and he has some suggestions. And generally he's just like not, yeah, he, he has a lot of info, right? He's been, he's experienced a lot with G2. So that helped everyone who was in G2 and him as well to like understand more, right? We were like learning together. Okay, so each one of us gets three goals because well, that's yeah, exactly just how the game works. You know, this. this is exactly why that's, but I got interrupted. Oh, we, wait, I get this? Yeah, this is gold. Don't steal them, little shit. <laughs> So now we okay. So now we we do war. Okay. So Wunder wins war. Wait, That's fucking win. right. That's fucking right. Wunder, you get two points. Actually, you get minus one point. I get minus two. What? And you get because minus you lose one to me. Point because you lose <laughs> Wait, but I win. Me. And you win against Vicky, so you get up to two points. Doffman is writes everything down like every good analyst or coach should be. So he likes to be prepared. Uh, he likes to kind of remind us of small things that we might forget or might have forgotten so everything is like everything is just being reminded i think his good quality is that he notices like trends of enemy teams really fast so he can point them out to us before the game yes yeah and one other thing like just in general they seem to be a very reactive team where if you pressure them like if you pressure their jungler he will call for help and their lanes will move and you can just you can just toy toy with them that way like Yasuo moves here as they come in, so they just wait, they push the waves, and then they invade on the next wave when they can't contest anymore. Oh, oh you can do something. Yeah, it's dead. Nice. Zero flash in, though. <laughs> I didn't know if he had flash. Well, he, he had it, yeah. another snap. <laughs> I'm going mid. Mid, 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 no shit flash. He's stunned, he's stunned. They're tipping as well, they're tipping as well. I'm tipping too, I'm tipping too, I'm tipping too. Or got TP for the side. It's actually mid, TP They all TP, all TP. Flash and ult. I have flash, ult 8, ult 8. Okay, okay. I have cocked ult. That's what's getting fucked. That's what's getting fucked. There's no E now. Just focus towers, focus towers. We don't need to go on them if we... Just hit sure, I mean, it's good if they ruin his KDA. It's really good. Sure, yeah. I'm tanking, I'm tanking. Hit towers, hit towers. Hit towers, hit towers. GG. GG! GG! Well played, Cups. Just working as an analyst for two years really helped me, especially just watching the coaches and how, how Grabs and how Young Buck before him might like, interact with the players on stage and just how they like work on stage basically. It was good to have that experience and then I could then call on the fact that my inexperience, I could then say, right, guys, you need to focus and you need to carry me through this one. So I think that was helpful, at least. I can't get a big beard. Like, I get like a, I look like a fucking hobo. Like, I look like I just been on the streets for like one month. <laughs> oh, that would actually be really well, it kind of looked like that like, anyway, so might as well have a beard, right? <laughs> oh. Okay, I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> I'll do it. I appreciate your honest response. Yeah, no actually, problem. yeah, you should you should shave your head again and get a beard. Okay, I'll do that. <laughs> oh, that would actually. Yeah. If I could do, if I could have a group like a full beard, it would be really sick. Yeah, but yeah. I can't. Okay. If I had a full beard, I would really. You if you shave, you would not know. You would not know. <laughs> if you if you could get a full beard and you shaved your head, I would actually call you Ragnar, but not oh, before. Yeah. Put your hands together. We load up onto the rift for week six, day two. Is XL Esports. Want to once again reclaim some of that? Very good job. We don't. We don't have to hard commit. There's no we, can, we, can, we can go for. Ezreal has nothing. 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 Ezre
Okay. Let's go here, let's go here. No, okay. oh. I'm coming, 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 coming. Yeah, not bad, not bad, not bad. I'll go top, I'll go top. Michael, Michael, Michael. I'm I'll I'm, I'm, I'm lad, I'm lad, I'm lad. Okay, you wanna get it? No, 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 get it. No. Uh, yes, yes. You wanna get it? I'm lad, I'll, I'll face. <laughs> I think I should go bot and you should stay mid. Like, I'm, I'm, okay. I'm kind of vulnerable mid. Sure. Okay, I'm gonna have level 2 Galio so I can go for both sides. I mean, Kennen can't really kill you, so... I'll have fine. redemption. Oh, oh El Yasuo is killing Yasuo. They're moving, by the way, maybe. Yeah, yeah I know, but I had to do it, Ken. I get help. Yeah, yeah. I really had to do it, like, I really had to do something in this game. I'm buffing mid, I'm buffing. <laughs> just wait, just wait, just wait. I can go now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, oh, I need help, please, please, please. I'm coming! Ah. You left me, Jarvan! <laughs> you left me! Wait, wait, uh, you I'm, left but me! But I wanted left all assists. We, we broke the curse, guys. Ah, we broke the curse. Oh, you really left we broke me. it, actually. Woo! Ah. That was so mean. One, two, three. Team fighting! Good job, guys. We did it. He was asking where are they and they were like The main reason that I wanted to come back to G2 was was to work with Luca again. Like just seeing how much he grew as a person in the time I was with him before I left, like, and then seeing him while I was with TSM, like it just it made me want to come back and help because I could see areas where I could help the team again. And then as soon as I like announced that I was I was looking for another team, like. Carlos immediately contacted me and asked if I wanted to come back and like, it was just easy from there like to see how much they wanted me back and to get the chance to work with Luca again and to feel like I could bring something to the team really made me want to work with G2 again. It feels really good to just get 2-0 out of the way and yeah, hopefully grabs us back next week. The players and, and Chris together worked well so we got really good drafts. I'm gonna say better drafts than we did with Grabs last week, so yeah, I think Grabs has to step it up for next week. <laughs> I would rate Duff like 10 out of 10. Was, was good coach. <laughs>